So your answer is 70. Okay? Okay, so let's have another example. So we have 255 by 5 tenths. Okay, so ano sabi natin kanina sa rule? Laging unang titignan is yung divisor. Okay, which is 5 tenths. So, anong gagawin sa 5 tenths? Gawin natin whole number. Okay? So, by moving the decimal point to the right. Okay, move natin. 1. So, nandito na decimal point nyo. Okay? So, sabi natin, kung anong ginawa mo sa labas, gawin mo rin sa loob. So, since nag-move tayo here, from here to here, so, in decimal point ng 255, this is whole number is found so, okay. So, lahat ng whole number, lagi nandiyan ang decimal point. So, mumove din natin siya ng once. So, may space siya. So, ano ilalagay natin? Zero. Okay. Kaya magiging decimal ang hmm. So, that will be 2,550 divided by 5 na siya. Bakit 5 ulit? Kasi minute na natin yung decimal point dito. Nandito na yung decimal point niya. Nilalagay po ba natin yung pag number? So, hindi na. Okay? So, now we're ready to divide. So, 2,550 divided by 5. So, first, 2. Pwede, pwede. So, dumitin natin 25. Divided by 5 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. And then, bring down 5. Divided by 5 is 1. Times 5 is 5. 5 minus 5 is 0, then bring down 0. 0 divided by 5 is 0. 0 times 5 is 0. 0 times 0. So your answer is 510. Okay? Question? Okay, very good. Okay, so let's have more example. This time we are going to divide 2 digit by 2 digit. So that is 96 hundreds divided by 12 hundreds. So, let's begin. So, that is 96 hundreds divided by 12 hundreds. Okay, so, again, anong gagawin natin? First, observe muna natin and analyze our divisor, which is 12 hundreds. So, since this is decimal place, gagawin natin siyang whole number. So, the whole number. Okay, 12. Yan. Nasaan ang decimal point? Dito na. Pa paano nangyari yun? Inove natin from left to right. Okay. 1, 2. So, napunta na dito yung decimal point. Then, kung ano ginawa natin sa labas, same thing gagawin natin sa loob. So, 1, 2. Para mak to the decimal point. Okay? Kaya magiging ganito na yung tura niyan. It will be 96 divided by 12. So, pareho silang nandito na decimal point. So, which is, hindi na natin nilalagay kasi whole number na sila. Okay? So, divide natin. So, 96 divided by 12 is, okay, that is 8. 8 times 12, that is 96 then. So, sakto. Walang remainder. So, 96 minus 96 is 0. So, our final answer is 8. Okay? Okay. So, let's have more example. What is the quotient when 294 and 45 hundredths is divided by 1 tenths? Okay. So, that is 200 again 294 45 hundredths divided by 1 tenth. So, do you write 1 tenth? So, decimal point 1. That is 1 tenth. Okay. So, first, we're going to change the divisor into whole number. Diba? Sabi natin, always, uunahin natin analyze yung divisor natin. So, since this is whole, uh, decimal number, gagawin natin siyang whole number. Mumove natin 
from left to right. How many times? Once lang. Kasi one lang naman yun eh. I mean, one place value lang. Okay? So, kaya magiging one. So, magiging one lang siya. Nandito na yung decimal point niya. So, then, kung anong ginawa natin sa labas, gawin din sa loob. So, how many times? Okay, once also. We're going to move this once. There. So, mapupunta na dito yung decimal point niya. Okay? Nandiyan na siya. Mawawala na siya dun. So, kaya magiging, ano na yung number niyo? 2,944 and 5 tenths. Okay? So, divide na natin. So, 2 divided by 1 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. So, 0. Bring down 9. 9 divided by 1 is 9. 9 divided by 1 is, I mean, 9 times 1 is 9. Okay, then 4. This is also 4. 4, then another 4. Then another 4. 4, then 5. 5. 5, then 0. Okay? So, sana decimal point natin. So, ilalagay nyo lang siya directly sa tapat. Okay. There you go. So, your answer is... 2,944 and 5 tenths. Okay. So, if you have any questions, meron tayong comment section sa baba. Just write it down. And thank you again for watching. I hope you learned something. Goodbye and keep safe, everyone.